How does a car salesman maximize profits on your car deal? In the car business, higher gross means more money for the dealership. And today, we're covering the top seven trained strategies to help a car salesman achieve higher gross. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, also known as the Homer Guy and author of Is That the Best You Can Do? This video is brought to you by YouTube's best channel on car buying and selling, courtesy of the Homer Guy team. Another round of super high intensity training is coming up for you car buyers. If you like the Homework Guy videos and you want to show your support, consider getting a t-shirt or hoodie like this one from the merch shelf down below. We appreciate your kind support. Today we're talking about the Benjamins, moolah, money, higher gross. It's your big bucks that a car salesman is after the moment your car buying journey starts. On this video, you're going to hear about seven key strategies that salesmen are trained on to get more money out of your pocket and into their pocket. Let's be clear. Being profitable isn't a bad thing, and we've never said that it is. And any car buyer that we typically visit with around the country is more than happy to pay what's fair. However, there's a really big difference between a fair and reasonable profit and getting your head torn off. An ugly phrase used in the car business when a salesman turns you upside down and shakes every penny out of your pocket. This is all current stuff. Everything you'll hear today comes right out of recent training classes being taught in dealer classrooms across the country. Pay attention to something. On the surface, the strategies that you'll learn about seem quite harmless. What reasonable person wouldn't want to do some of this stuff? That's a fair question. But you know what the better question is? What do they do with the information they collect? How do they use your answers, your excitement, your emotions against you? That's what the real question is. Here on the Homer Guy channel, we want to make sure that you're not one of those customers that gets their head tore off. And that is our focus, coming up right after this short message from the Homer Guy team. If you're a first timer on the Homer Guy channel, consider subscribing and leaving us a comment below. Add hashtag the Homer Guy if you'd like a response directly from Kevin or one of the Homer Guy staff members. We're always glad to help our loyal followers. And the best part is there is no charge. You can also email the team at info at the with a specific question. Or if you'd like a free contract review, just black out your personal information and send it to us. We'd love to hear from you. Just be aware that we do get a lot of requests. So just be patient while you wait for a response. Back to you, Kevin. There are seven strategies that car salesmen will train on to help them raise gross. To make more moolah off of you, the customer. I want to repeat something that I said earlier. You'll notice that many of these strategies on their own aren't bad. But what I am saying is that they work on you. And if you aren't aware of what's happening, you will definitely give up more money because of it. Here are the top seven money makers deployed by car salesmen against you, the customer. Number one, get triggered, get discounted. Salesmen are trained to not get triggered by your objections. If you've ever had a salesman get pissed off at you for something that you said or did on the car lot, that's a guy who has lost it and violated his own training. If you saw our video on no means no, you know that a dealer trains their sales staff to respond to your objections with things they call word tracks. They practice and rehearse them. They sound smooth, enthusiastic, and even friendly. So much that you might be inclined to think they're natural words of their own, but they aren't. They are memorized, rehearsed word tracks, and they prevent the salesman from getting caught off guard by an objection, not knowing what to say next. You notice your salesman always has something to say, no matter what you say, and it will often be a question that offers you one of two options. Both options lead you down a different goat trail, but each trail takes you closer to their goal of getting you out the door in one of their new cars. Number two. Gain trust, gain bread. Salesmen are taught to build trust. Building trust is great, right? This is something I earned rather quickly with car buyers, but it was a result of chosen paths quite different than the route salesmen are taking today. Watch for those big smiles to win you over. Lots of enthusiasm. Asking your name so they can refer to you directly, like your old pals, and using all the techniques commonly rolled into form. You know, family, occupation, recreation, motivation, all of that stuff. If you've ever been to a sales training course before of any kind, you ought to recognize it. They'll learn about you with effective questions and then get you a soda pop, water, coffee, some popcorn, maybe even an ice cream cone if they got one of those machines. Within minutes, 
If they are effective, you might start to believe you found a friend in the car business. If you perceive it to be so, that becomes your reality. And that is gold for a car salesman and his finance officer. You let your guard down with your new friend, and that lower guard means more money out of your pocket. Number three, good control equals good payday. Sales training includes lots of buyer management and control. Heavy on the control. Think about it. Managing an environment around a customer, doing whatever it takes to give them the feeling of being in the right place at the right time with the right person. That environment is created by the salesman. You might be wondering what's next at times, but the question is always answered as the what's next was already planned and rehearsed a thousand times on customers who came to the dealership long before you. Like a dream that somehow became reality, you feel lucky to be a part of it. The yellow brick road, it's paved for you. And it's done with such big smiles and so much excitement that any reasonable person would think that this guy must have downed two Red Bulls before he saw you. Well, you don't necessarily notice this because you're right in the thick of it. And having a guide to help you down this path can feel comfortable and easy at times. Aww. Yet, he is controlling you, how you feel, what you're even thinking about. Number four, more fun equals more money. Salesmen are taught to make the process fun. This seems logical, right? Fun things motivate all of us, and there's nothing wrong with that. However, in a dealership, the more fun you're having, the more money you're giving up, you're buying the show. Watch the salesman take pictures of you in the car. Shoot some video for Facebook. Go live to tell the world what you're up to. There's excitement, a positive atmosphere, good attitudes from everyone around you. This is really great because car buying is supposed to be fun. However, all of this fun is just a big distraction. And it's very important to know what's coming in the next 60 to 90 minutes. Think about it for a moment. You're not going to let your new friend down. And they're pretty sure that you're not going to let them down either because they seem to like you. And in fact, they even said that they liked you. So, just like that, you're sharing your car buying experience on Facebook, telling family and friends about what a good time you're having at the dealership and how they all need to come and see Jeff. He is the man. And you are giving up a lot of dollars at the moment. Number five, sustain interest means sustained commissions. Sales training emphasizes the need to create and sustain interest. Whatever you say is important to you, watch it get attached to everything. Salesmen call these hot buttons. Push them again and again and again with everything they said. I've had a salesman tell me so many times what was important to me when I was on a car lot that I finally had to stop him and say, listen, buddy, you have no idea what's really important to me. That was really clear that he didn't. <laughs> he was a little surprised and looked a bit shocked. He didn't like me killing his buzz right in the middle of building momentum. Bottom line, they're trained to keep you focused on how all of your wants and needs are being met at this very moment by this car and this salesman. Number six, listen up, gross up. Salesmen are taught to listen more than they speak. If a salesman talks too much, you're inclined to stop listening. So they have to learn a balance and they rehearse it in class. There's also something that you should be aware of when you're speaking. A good salesman is listening intently to every word you say. But it's not the kind of listening you might expect. They are listening for key words you speak to close you with later on. Using the customer's words against them is very savvy. First, when he repeats your own words back to you, it seems like he knows you, like a friend would. Also, because a salesman proves he is willing to listen to you, out of respect, you're also willing to listen to him. Watch what happens. When it's his turn to talk, he'll move to control the conversation guiding it closer to a tipping point, precisely what they want. He'll ask you more questions, seemingly to let you speak. Again, notice how the question has planned choices, usually just two, and both will point down a goat path or a goat trail, like I told you earlier, just the path they want you to be on. Number seven, emotional customer equals big Benjamins. This is the biggest key of all. Salesmen are taught to get the customer emotional. Not the salesman. If the salesman gets emotional, they lose gross. They have to get you emotional. When you're emotional, you spend freely. You just let the money fly out of your pockets. Emotional people don't think much about the consequences 
of their decisions. Instead, emotions cause you to do things because it feels right. This point is the number one reason we highly recommend that you go home and sleep on it and then go back the next day to sign if you still want it. The emotions are gone from the day before and a logical brain is back on the job for you. Let's wrap these money-making strategies up with a nice big red bow. Nothing we talked about are strategies designed to help you get closer to what you want. All of these strategies are designed to help the salesman get closer to what he and the dealership wants. Yet, they fool you because they seem so logical. On the surface, actually, they all are. However, it's the psychology of the sale, and if you don't get it, you won't win any prizes for savvy car buying. When you don't get it, your salesman crushes it. You don't want your salesman to crush it. You just want him to make it. If you enjoy hearing some of the perspective on live sales training, let us know in the comment section below. We'll be glad to offer more. As our return viewers know, the Homework Guide channel is home to some of the best car buying and selling videos on YouTube. Check them all out. We've done a lot of work to help you out, so use the resources we put out there for you. They're free. What are you waiting for? If you learned something today, give us that great big thumbs up, would you? Leave us a comment down below and make sure you use hashtag the homework guy. Share the video on social media with your friends and make sure to join us on Facebook and Twitter too. We post notifications and other updates on our other social media sites as well and answer car buying questions there too. If you love what we do and want to say thanks with a tip, well, the PayPal and Cash App links that you see here will be easy to find in that description box down below. No problem if you can't do a tip. You can share with your family and friends and encourage others to subscribe to the channel. That's huge. It's one of the most important things you can do as a loyal follower and viewer on our channel. And we appreciate everything that you do to help us get the word out and help defeat the bad guys in the car business who still haven't learned that fairness and honesty is the best business model. Thanks everyone for coming back. Wasn't this a great video today? It was, and it's time for me to rock and roll. But we'll see you guys on our next video. You guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter. Until next time, take care, everyone.